five, is it child cruelty or a religious rite of passage? That is the question Roswell police are trying to answer as they investigate what happened to a four-year-old girl. Channel 2's Mike Pachenik interviewed a woman who saw the ritual. He has the story from the Roswell Police Department. This represents to give our people who has passed away spirit and light. This religion is to help people, to help people get better, to help people wisely, to protect people. Nadeshta Ramirez practices Santeria, a West African and Caribbean influence religion that involves worshiping saints. Ramirez told me she witnessed a Santerian ceremonial ritual now catching the eye of Roswell police after the director of this daycare on Elkins Road reported a four-year-old girl had mysterious cuts on her chest. I had it done when I was seven. Did it hurt? It did hurt, just a little bit. Ramirez told me the ritual, called Pio, involves carving crosses into a person's body using a straight-edge razor much like this one. It's usually seven crosses. And um, they represent the ones here on one on the leg, right here, and two on the back. Ramirez says the ritual is a form of self-sacrifice to the saints they worship. If he sees you're sacrificing yourself a little bit, then he's going to know, okay, she's sacrificing herself and why can't I help her along the way? Ramirez told me Santerians have gotten an unnecessarily bad reputation for their sacrifice of animals. She told me the Pio ritual is no different. Sometimes people use religion as an excuse to abuse kids, but not in this case. Now, within the hour, I talked to someone from the Children's Advocacy Centers of Georgia. She begs to differ. She says that police need to be considering child abuse charges in this case, even though it was done in the context of a religious ritual. So far, police have not charged anyone, but they tell me they have referred the case to the Department of Family and Children's Services. We are live in Roswell, North Fulton County. Mike Pachenik, Channel 2 Action News.